Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's with family and friends and that you're staying healthy and well. Um, I want to share a dream I was given with you and um, but before I shared the dream I was given last night, I want to share a dream I was given on Christmas night and uh, that night I became deathly ill. I, uh, I know I was running a fever but I was just too sick to get out of bed to take any medication and uh, this is for anyone who, if you believe in natural remedies for healing the body, uh, this, this could be helpful to you. But uh, in the dream I had while I was at the peak of sickness, I like dragged myself into some type of a pharmacy, like a CVS or a Rite Aid. And uh, the owner, I think, or somebody who worked at the pharmacy came up to me and said, you need seaweed. All right, now, I, when I woke up, I did some research on seaweed and I found where certain types of it, like it was called, I think, spirulina, will actually guard your cells against invasive viruses. So I'm not a medical doctor, but I ordered some of that stuff and I was, I've been taking it. And uh, I think I maybe have been a week dealing with this stuff and I'm about over it. So it's something to think about. If, if you're somebody who believes in natural healing methods, uh, it could be something to help you. But what I wanted to share was this dream I was given last night that church, I really believe this dream is meant to be an encouragement that we are about to go home. Uh, the Lord is about to pour out blessings upon his people and things that have been sealed up for a while, a long time are about to be unsealed and released to us. So I'm going to share the dream and then what I believe it means and some other things uh, pertaining to this dream. So in this dream I was given last night, I uh, I was at this job where I was working like a temporary job. I knew it wasn't a permanent job. And now for the past two or three years, I've actually had this reoccurring dream where I will remember in the dream that I have some bank account somewhere, but I don't know how to access it. I don't know how much is in it. So in this dream last night, suddenly as I'm working, I remember I have this bank account and I don't know how much is in it. And so my lunch break was almost there. It was almost time for a lunch break. So I said to the person there that I worked with, I said, I have not been to the bank in two years. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to find out what I have in this account and I am going to find a way to access it. All right. So on the way to the bank, it was like there was this release of envelopes, like this mail delivery that just lands in my arms and my lap. Now, I know that these envelopes contain letters or cards where I'm being thanked for work I have done and there's money in them and, and it's like payment for work I have done many years ago. And now I only opened one envelope and I unwrapped the letter and I saw there was cash inside. Now, when I counted the cash, it totaled $49. Now, 49 is a very significant number and I'll get into that in a minute, but after that, I went to the bank and the woman working there said she knew my husband. So I knew I had favor at the bank. And so I put my name on a waiting list to find out what was going on with my account. All right, now here's what I believe this dream means. We know that we are told to store up treasures in heaven, all right? Not to try to build kingdoms on earth, but lay up your treasures in heaven. And so for those of us who are working in the kingdom of God and doing as we're called to do, we're, we're laying up treasures in heaven. And I believe that's what that bank account is symbolic of, that I didn't know how much I had in it and I didn't really know how to access it. But here's the thing. These letters that were poured into my lap, they contain payment. All right, I believe this is speaking to what was sealed up is about to be unsealed. The blessings that are about to come onto the body of Christ our payment for what we have done in the kingdom of God. And it's also noteworthy that in the dream, I was getting ready to go on lunch break. I was leaving work to go on break. What? To go to the bank and to receive my inheritance, this account that's, that's out there that has money in it. Don't know how much, but I'm, that's where I'm heading to which points to, I believe, church, that we have our rewards waiting for us and that we are about to take that break and go get those rewards. Now, we know that that could mean our blessed hope, all right? Because we know Jesus said in Revelation twenty-two, twelve, 
and behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. And we know that after the rapture, we stand before Christ at the Bema Seat Judgment. We receive rewards for the work we have done here. The other thing that stood out to me was the number 49. Now, if you have read the book of Leviticus, if you are familiar with um, the Hebrew culture, you know there's something called a Jubilee year every 50 years that is uh, celebrated. And I'm just going to read a real quick overview I found online of what the Jubilee year means. The Jubilee is the year that follows the passage of seven weeks of years, seven cycles of sabbatical years of 49 total years. This 50th year deals largely with land, property, and property rights, according to regulations found in the book of Leviticus. Certain indentured servants would be released from servitude, some debts would be forgiven, and everyone, now this is key, everyone was supposed to return to their own property in Jubilee years. They were supposed to return to their own property. Well, church, what is our own property? We know, church, that this world is not our home. We're just passing through. Our eternal home is with the Lord Jesus in heaven. And we know that that is what our inheritance will be. And that day is coming. And I believe that that 49 is pointing to that time is on us. That time is coming upon us. Okay, so another thing I wanted to share with you. Last year, I listened to a video and it was on Encounter Today YouTube channel. And it was featuring a pastor by the name of Miles Rutherford, okay? It's a very short video. I'm going to actually include a link to it in the description box. Now, Miles was given this revelation, and if I'm not mistaken, it was in 2022, and he was shown a clock, and basically that there was not much time left, And but what really stood out to me was that the Lord told Miles that Joel chapter 2 is his manifesto. So Miles said that the Lord told him that each verse within Joel chapter 2 would correspond with the year. So naturally, I have spent a good bit of time pouring over the verses uh, within Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24, I decided to go look it up because I'm thinking, well, it should be along the same lines of some kind of a blessing being poured out. Joel 2, 24 says, And the barns shall be full of wheat, and the presses shall abound with wine and oil. So here we see a blessing being poured out. And in in verse 25 is similar. All right, so again, we know, church, that the time of the rapture is close. So many people are being shown this. And I believe this dream is pointing to how close we really are to that time of our blessed hope, that time when we receive the uh, rewards for the work that we have done here, church. And I, I have a couple other videos I wanted to share with you that uh, I believe are, are pointing to the same thing, that we are very close. Wayne Fowler just yesterday uploaded a video, and it's entitled Seven Day Pre-Tribulation Rapture Warning. Now, he's not saying the rapture will happen in seven days, but he was given this amazing dream, and it's pointing to the very close time of the tribulation. And... So he uh, he shares that, and I'm going to pr put a link in the description box. But there's also another video I, I would really encourage you to watch. It's uh, by Return of the King, and it's called The Exodus, the Eclipses, and the Rapture. And this man, basically, he has the ability to take um, all of the the signs in the heavens and the constellations, and he understands biblically how to interpret them. And if you read Psalm 19, verses 1 and 2, that, that scripture tells us that God has written the story in the heavens. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. So that, that scripture tells us right there that the heavens belong to the Lord. He is the one who created them, and, and his story is written in them. The story of redemp the redemption of mankind through the death and resurrection of Jesus. And the story of the rapture is in there too. And so please take time to listen to this video that I'm going to upload by Return of the King, because I believe he has been shown church. We are extremely close. There are signs happening all the time. And they are pointing to the church being taken out very, very soon. 
All right, so once again, always take everything that you receive from me or anyone to the Lord in prayer. Never take our word for it. Never take anyone's word for it. It all has to line up with scripture. And if it doesn't line up with scripture, throw it out. But I do believe that this dream is pointing to a blessed time for the church that is coming, that is about to be released. The envelope is about to be un unsealed and we are about to receive the rewards for the work we have done, church. So please keep looking up don't forget about our blessed hope. And as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.